Imagine you're standing at the edge of a cliff, the wind blowing gently in your face. Below you, the view is breathtaking, a sprawling landscape stretching out as far as the eye can see. But here's the catch, you're not sure if you can take that first step off the edge. That's the moment when your mindset decides whether you stay where you are or soar to new heights. This, my friends, is the power of mindset. Now, let me ask you a simple but profound question, what do you believe about your ability to change? What's your inner dialogue like? Because, whether you know it or not, your mindset is the lens through which you see the world, and it shapes every aspect of your life. The exciting part? You have the power to change it. But how do we do that? It starts with understanding that there are two core types of mindsets. The first is the fixed mindset, where people believe their abilities, intelligence, and talents are set in stone. It's like being born with a blueprint that can't be altered. The second is the growth mindset, where people believe that with effort, learning, and perseverance, they can improve and expand their abilities. A fixed mindset tells you, I can't do this, but a growth mindset says, I can't do this yet. Science backs this up. Dr. Carol Dweck, a professor of psychology at Stanford University, pioneered the research into mindsets. She discovered that people with a growth mindset tend to outperform those with a fixed mindset, not just because of innate ability, but because they approach challenges with a sense of possibility. They're more likely to persist through setbacks and even see failures as opportunities for growth. So, how do you shift your mindset from fixed to growth? The first step is awareness. Start by paying attention to your thoughts. Are they limiting, or are they empowering? A simple shift from I can't to I can learn can open up a whole new world of possibilities. The next step is to embrace failure. Yes, you heard that right. Failures aren't the end, they're the beginning of learning. It's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Research shows that our brains are incredibly plastic, meaning they're constantly rewiring based on our thoughts and experiences. So, every time you challenge yourself or push past a limitation, you're actually creating new neural pathways. In other words, your brain gets better at whatever you practice, whether it's learning a new skill or handling stress. Here's a tip that can supercharge your growth mindset, practice self-compassion. It may sound counterintuitive, but being kind to yourself during setbacks actually helps you bounce back faster. When you treat yourself with understanding and patience, you reduce the impact of stress, and that creates the mental space to continue pushing forward. And here's another bonus tip, visualize success. Athletes do it all the time, before a race, they picture themselves crossing the finish line, feeling that sense of accomplishment. You can do the same thing in your own life. Visualizing your goals, and truly feeling the emotions tied to those achievements, helps create a powerful connection between your mind and body, reinforcing that growth mindset even more. Finally, I want to leave you with a simple yet powerful statement, your mindset isn't something you're born with, it's something you choose. Every day, you have the opportunity to nurture it, to mold it, to make it work for you. So, the next time you face a challenge, remember, you're not just battling the task at hand. You're also battling your own inner dialogue. Choose wisely. The wind's still blowing, and that view is still waiting for you. The only question is, are you ready to take the leap?